What we're going to do now is just some early level formatting to try and get these two data files, two Excel CSV files, looking the same. There's a bit of work to do in terms of the actual information. We're just going to do some basic adjustments in this chapter. The starting point is we don't need the title of the account holder, so we will get rid of that. We also, we have a thing here called category. That is not something that is in our export file, so we can get rid of that. Uh, hang on. Now, another field that we have here are the credits. The credits are the deposits, but we're only uploading payments. The reason you have deposits is because when you download the CSV file from the bank, it's going to give you everything, including the deposits. So we do want to get rid of those deposits. Now, the best way to get rid of these, and there's different ways of doing it, but in, because we don't have much information here, I'm just going to delete them on a line-by-line -line basis. There are other ways of doing this. You could do a sort to find them and delete them. But I'll just do it like this for now. So now we only have our expenses. We don't need the balance. And in fact, we don't need anything to the right of the field here. So that can all go as well. And one more left there. So these then are the fields that we're left with in our CSV file from the download from the bank. That's not many, but we need to build a few. Now just note a couple of things here, and this is really important. Again, just stressing, there has to be an exact match between the two files. Notice this, the date field in the downloaded file exported out of MyOB, the accounting software, is 15 forward slash 0911. Here the date field is 20 dash September 11. This is a formatted field in Excel that CSV has picked up. That has to be the same. It's important to pay a lot of attention to this detail. So if you do a format cell, and it would be wise to then make sure, well, you have to make sure these two dates formats match. So you select your date. That's the format that we require. So we will apply that to these fields. And now we have exactly the same date format as well. All right. Now, in terms of the dates themselves, you'll notice the dates in here are not particularly in any form of sequence. And that actually doesn't really matter. The important thing is that the transactions are correct. The upload doesn't really care if the dates change so long as the correct date applies to each transaction.